Hi, welcome to Maggie Chet's Books. Today I'm going to do a spoiler-free review of The Chemist by Stephanie Meyer. This is a book published by Little Brown Books and it came out in the, uh, November of 2016. I asked for it and got it for Christmas and uh, read it in May. This is um, Stephanie Meyer's second adult novel. Of course, she wrote the Twilight series, and that's when I first started reading her. Uh, my daughters were a little late in age uh, reading the Twilight books, so the first movie was out before they started reading them. Uh, when my oldest daughter um, showed interest in reading the book, I went to buy Twilight, and she was finishing up the uh, Percy Jackson series, so while she was finishing that up, I read the entire Twilight series, and it did enjoy it. Both my daughters read it, and we... Um, discussed the books as well as uh, had some good times going to see the movie. So I have some really fond memories of that series and uh, Stephanie Meyer. After that I saw the book The Host and uh, bought that and read it. It was another fantasy but it was an adult fantasy, science fiction. Quite a good book. Um, totally new plot line than I'd seen in other fictional books science fiction books and really enjoyed that one. So when I saw this book I was very delighted that she was putting out another book but it's a suspense thriller. It's not a fantasy or science fiction book. So I was a little worried because um, suspense thriller is not really my genre but because I liked Stephanie Byers books previously I decided to go ahead and get this one. I uh, Up front I'll just say I really really enjoyed this book. It is a, a little over 500 pages the plot moves along very fast. It's a quick read for 500 pages and part of that is because she doesn't stop and she does most of her character development on the move or on the run if you will and so when people are involved in something else it brings up other areas of their life which allows you to get to know the character better and their background story. This story is about Alex she is a chemist who works for an organization similar to the CIA that pretty much uses chemicals and other forms to torture supposed terrorists to get information out of them. She is currently on the run because her organization has turned against her and attempted to assassinate her, I believe, three times. And so that's where we join her. An attempt is made to pull her back into the organization and she's not aware if that is an attempt to bring her back or to assassinate her again. This book is um, pretty much all about her, that situation and running away from other situations. She does meet up with two um, men who are brothers and those are pretty much the three main characters of this book. The main character, Alex, is a, I think, a very strong female character. She is not perfect. She is not absolutely beautiful. She is not um, jack-of-all-trades kind of person. She has her flaws. She's done some things that are questionable. She is... Um, just trying to survive in a more human way than normally shown. She has learned by her own mistakes. Her um, love interest in this book and the romance isn't a whole lot, which I prefer, um, is not the alpha male, which sometimes when you see a strong woman, it, they think they have to be paired with this unbelievable type of man. And he is not that. He is almost her opposite in a lot of ways. And I really enjoyed that part of it. She um, has self-doubt. She, um, as I said, makes a lot of mistakes. So she's a more believable character. Because this was 500 pages, I was a little afraid that we would get stalled halfway or middle way through because it is difficult to keep up a suspense thriller pace and get good character development. But what Stephanie does in this book is allow the backstories and things to come out as the characters are involved in some pretty hairy situations. So I, I thought that was really, really good. The 
only drawback of this book that some people might find is that there are um, scenes of torture. There are two torture scenes in this book, uh, which may be difficult to read. They hold really nothing back. Bad things happen. You can really see where somebody could confess to something they never did just to get out of the situation of being tortured. Um, it's gritty. It paints a terrible picture of the CIA. It paints a terrible picture of a lot of things that go on. I'm not sure if that's a false interpretation. Um, some of it probably is very true. So, um, really, really enjoyed this book. I think anybody that likes a suspense thriller will enjoy this book. I think um, that a good plot that's also character-based is a great way to go with a suspense thriller for me to read it. So, if um, you've read this book, please let me know in the comments if you have enjoyed it or if you had other opinions. I honestly did not read a lot of reviews for this book before I read it because I wanted to go into it totally fresh. So if you have any comments, please um, put the comments below. Um, put a spoiler alert tag if you um, are going to put anything in the plot that people shouldn't hear. And um, if you have any other ideas for similar books, um, I would love to hear those as well. So um, that's my review of The Chemist by Stephanie Meyer. I did give it five stars on Goodreads because it was so intriguing and I think I was just pleasantly surprised all the way around on all elements of the book. So love to know your opinions. If you like this video or you want to see more, please give this one a thumbs up and thank you for watching.